Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Mike Manitas. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different that has not been on this channel for quite a while. Now, a while ago, uh, like a really long time ago, in the early days of this channel, I did a video covering my thoughts on the it, on the, on the movie It, based off Stephen King's novel. Now, I, now I said that I'll be doing something similar to this with Chapter Two once It once It Chapter Two came out. Well, on Thursday, we actually got a trailer that uh, we actually got a trailer for It Chapter Two. I saw it. I had my dad react to it last night. You can watch that video. And when I saw the trailer, I was shocked at it, at this, and I actually I was quite kind of amazed of, of this. However, today we're not gonna go. We're we're not do, gonna do a reaction video. We're gonna do an analysis of the trailer to It Chapter Two. But first, let's get a summary of what's gonna happen in this movie. In it part one, we learned that a we learned that there is an ancient being, uh, being known simply as it, since we don't know the actual gender of it. But what we do know is that its favorite form, its favorite uh, because it's a sh uh, shape shifting being, is that of a colorful clown named Pennywise the Dancing Clown. However, this clown is not what you think, and is a virtue uh, and is a villainous killer. After killing a, the younger brother of Bill Denbro, he and his friends set out to find out who this mysterious being is and destroy it once and for all. In the summer of 1899, of 1989, they thought they had killed it, but they had made a promise. If it ever returned, they would return to Derry, Maine to fight it once again. Then they go their separate ways. But we get a, we are learned that it survived the, uh, the attack from the Losers Club. As they are known, and it is hint that in the end of the first of the first movie, it is shown it part it chapter one, which means that there's going to be a part two, and we hear Pennywise sadistic laughter, which means only one thing: he has survived. So a while ago, I did a video recovering what I think might appear in It Chapter Two, based off what we had known at that time. But now, since we actually got a trailer, we can actually announce it and see what's gonna be in this movie. So let's begin this horrific analysis of this horrific trailer for one incredible movie. Basically, what's gonna happen in this movie? The Adult Losers Club, Mike Hanlon, Bill Denbro, Eddie Kasparak. Ben Hanscom, Beverly Marsh, and uh, and Stan Iris and Richie Tazier must return back to Derry, Maine, their hometown, to confront the mysterious It, also known as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Now, since we actually got a trailer, let's see what we can figure out from this. In the first scene of the trailer, we see Beverly, the adult Beverly Marsh, played by Jessica Chastain, visiting her former home by, from her father, thinking that he's still alive. Even though it would be kind of awkward since the last time they saw each other, she literally bashed him on the head. But in fact, she learns that her father has since died. And the person who now lives in her former home is that of Miss Kirsch, a mysterious old woman. Now, when I first saw the trailer, I knew right off the bat this was going to be taking a scene from the no from Stephen King's novel uh, and the 1990 miniseries. In both cases, Beverly returns to her former home in Derry. Uh, however, in both cases, and I guess in this one as well, she doesn't know if her father's actually alive or not. But in fact, she learns that he is dead. And now, is the now and now uh, the home is now rented. Now a parent now has in company an old woman. We then get a scene where Beverly looks at the old postcard that was sent to her by Ben Hanscom, who had a crush on her, even though she thought it was Bill Denbro who had a, uh, who sent it to her. Then in the background, we see a mysterious figure, the old lady, squ uh, looking at her, then shuffling away with sw with some very uh, squashy footsteps, as if water is in her shoes. This hints that Miss Kirsch is indeed it. Then, they have a cup of tea while talking about Beverly's time back in Derry. However, Miss Kirsch says something that quite stuns the audience and causes a very unsettling moment when she says, No one in Derry really dies. This is downright creepy, and when for, and uh, there's a slight pause in, dra in, dia in dialogue as both Beverly and Miss Curse look at each other. 
while uh, while Beverly has a look of uh, uh, look of con confusion, but Miss Kirsch just smiles, an eerly smile. Then, uh, uh, then we see what seems to be rotten flesh on a uh, uh, on Miss Kirsch. This also this also proves that she is not an, in fact an old woman. It's in fact one of its forms. She also has a very sweaty at some points. This is a point in the original in the first movie where Pennywise usually let down his guard sometimes. Not always though. And then, uh, and then uh, we hear a toaster oven go off. Which uh, so Miss Curse said says um, some cookies, and she's going to give them to Beverly. Uh, while she goes back in the kitchen, Beverly decides to look around her former home and look at Miss Curse's photos. In them, there's a lot of in them that are Miss Curse's family. Miss Curse, uh, uh, Beverly asks Miss Curse about her family. Miss Curse says, "My uh, my father came to this town with fourteen dollars." And she also says something that's quite troublesome uh, and quite scary. When Beverly asks what did, what did her father do, Miss Kirsch said, My father joined the circus. As in proof in this scene here, where Beverly looks at a picture of her fa of Miss Kirsch and her father. Now I want to say something. This exact this is exactly a reference to the novel. As in the novel, Miss Kirsch said that her father, Robert Bob Gray, was in a was in a circus and was and was given the nick uh, nickname Pennywise the Dancing Clown. <laughs> Hence the name. However, we can obviously tell by this photo. This is not the case. Here we see Penny. Uh, here, here we see Miss Kirsch and her father. And as, and I just realized something right off the bat. Miss uh, Kir uh, Miss Kirsch's father eyes are crossed uh, are crossed a little, and he has a very sinister smile, a smile similar to that of sadistic clown. In fact, the younger Miss Kirsch also has a, her eyes crossed there. This is a key thing in Pennywise's case. And look on the back. There's a board that says, "The Great Pennywise, the Dancing Clown." This is and get this. This is not the old first time we've ever seen this uh, this thing that says Pennywise on it. Believe it or not, this was in the first movie when Be when the younger Beverly stumbled across Pennywise's lair, and it says, "Penny, the Great Pennywise, the Dancing Clown." I don't know if I'm the first one to realize this, but if I, uh, but if I'm not, tell me in the comments section below. What do you guys think of this this scene? However, we see uh, we see a very creepy scene while Be while Beverly's looking at this photo. Uh, Miss Kirst uh, uh, shuffles past her, and then she says, "My father and I were very close. What about you, Beverly? Was uh, was uh, was your your daddy's favorite?" Are you? This is a direct reference to how abuse uh, uh, to to how uh, Beverly's uh, relationship with her father, which was definitely not a good one. And also, I forgot to point this out earlier, but in Beverly's scenes, we see bruises on her wrists, which means which means a direct re reference to the novel, as uh, saying that Tom Rogan, the uh, that now Beverly is now Beverly Rogan, but uh, the married to Tom Rogan, who was very abusive towards her. This is also a direct re reference to the novel. Then Miss Kurtz charges at Beverly, and that's the end of that scene. But it's not the end of the trailer yet. We then get a scene where it, uh, uh, we then get we then get a sneak peek at a scene involving the Losers Club: the adult Mike, the adult Richie, Bill, Beverly, and Ben. Eddie is not in this scene. We also see a scene where probably it's either a hallucination or Pennywise takes the form of Georgie. Bill's dead brother, as saying, offer as offering the paper boat that it, that Bill had made for uh, Georgie the day he died. He uh, as offering to it, but Bill just looks on, knowing it's not his, de not n knowing it's not his brother, is in fact the sadistic clown. Next, we see the most uh, uh, the most infamous scene ever depicted that was originally from the novel. In this scene, in this scene, we see Pennywise jumping off uh, off of the Paul Bunyan statue in hand of uh, of several red balloons. Now, I'll go into detail once I do a Pennywise all about video on this, but I think the balloons have something to do with the de with the dead children. Now, the Paul Bunyan statue was actually in the novel, 
However, in that case, it had taken the form of the no, uh, of the of the statue and attacked Richie. However, in this scene, it looks like they're taking a more subtle approach to it, but still pretty darn creepy. Seeing Pennywise just jumping off of that that much, aka hinting the dancing clown. And see, and knowing we got a sneak peek of this like earlier when we saw like a photo of this, I am really excited to see how this is going to turn out in the film. We also get a couple of of, sne of scenes of the uh, of the younger losers club, the kids, when they were back in 1989 before they left Derry, in the in the day they first confronted it. Now since the now since part one ca uh, uh, was in 1989 and part two takes place in 27 years later, it takes place in 2016. And during a trailer where the adult losers club are walking down the alley of Derry, we see uh, we faintly see a newspaper that says about a boy being uh, a boy's body being found in, in the Barrens. This is probably one of the de uh, one of the dead children killed by Pennywise. However, it's not the this is not the most mysterious yet. In this first teaser trailer, we see a circus in Derry, which is kind of strange, as saying that Pennywise is a dancing is a as Pennywise is a dancing clown. But we do know that it's not an actual human; it's a being. What's even more mysterious is that people are actually going to the circus. So this means that it's a circus and definitely not a, not one of Pennywise's old tricks. Now I think that this could be a way that the Losers Club can get in the to get in the sewers to fight Pennywise, but for some reason I always I always thought that scene with the circus well it's always seen like in two scenes so basically the circus has something to do with Pennywise but we just don't know yet we're just gonna have to wait until another trailer comes out to figure that out. Now, in the case of the adult Mike Hanlon, he is the only person to stay back in Derry and, uh, and has trouble with drugs due to, the fa due to his past in 1989 when confronting the sadistic It. However, in this scene, he is a, he's a librarian. We see him looking at something very horrifying. So basically, this is probably what caused him to, cut, to call the crew back in the Derry as he, for, as he encounters It. However, another thing is that, you see the, that what he's holding right there? It looks like a ribbon. So, and now what this ribbon is, I'll get to that at the end. Here we see a whole bunch of red balloons ri rising from the bridge. Now, I don't know, now I think I know what this means, but as I said, I won't go into it. And look at the background, you can see the circus. I, I know that the circus has something to do with it, but we just don't know yet. And if you're wondering where the newspaper is about that body found in the Barrens, it's actually right here. It's just that you can't see it very well. And here is the circus that might have something to do with it, but we just don't know much, uh, much yet, even though this is probably a carnival or it's, a, or it's actually a circus. We also see the Losers Club get together at a Chinese restaurant. This is also a direct re reference to the novel. I wonder how many scenes are going to have related to the novel in this movie. Uh, we just don't know yet. But I hope there's going to be a lot of scenes, including including some scenes where the adult where the adults uh, like get to know their childhood a little bit more, and have their own experiences with Pennywise, like Eddie, like Eddie Ben, those uh, those people. We don't. We only know that Bill, Richie, and uh, and Beverly get their experiences, but not the other. But not the others yet. Not yet, though. Now, there's a scene that might be another reference to the novel. Now, in this scene, we see Pennywise on top. I can't show it because I wasn't able to find an actual photo. We see Pennywise jumping from a window onto the side of a wall. So he's standing on a wall, and above and below is a kid, which is probably the uh, the younger Mike. So this is probably a this is probably a direct re uh, direct reference to it part one. Now, what's interesting about this is that they are both in a building that seems to be burned. So this means it's probably my uh, be because this is one of two things. One, it's the my uh, it's the black spot fire. The black spot was a bla uh, was a was a uh, club for black people that was burned down in 1962. Well, different timeline in the book in the not in the book, but different timeline in this movie. So basically, so basically, this could be the black spot as uh, as the director said that there's probably going to be that there's hopefully going to be a scene with the black spot in it. However, this could also be Micah Hanlon's house, where his uh, where his parents died, and he was forced to live with his grandfather, who always thought that Derry was cursed. So this could be either the the house where his parents died, or the black spot. 
We also do know that we're also going to get the scene in the, that happened in the beginning of the novel in in part, part two, where two where, where two gay men were attacked by a homophobic a uh, homophobic group, and one of the gay men was killed by Pennywise himself, though uh, though the entire clown thing wasn't co was covered up. So this could also be a direct re reference to the novel. Another reference is that he, as Pennywise, as Bill Skarsgård, the actual actor who plays Pennywise, said, "We might get a scene where Pennywise, before he became Pennywise, as saying this is, this happens in the 1600s. So basically, he means that we might get a scene in the early in the ancient times, the 1600s, when Pennywise was not Pennywise, as it had another favorite form. We then see a light." Looming in the darkness, then all of a sudden, boom, two gloved circus hands catch it. And a little girl is seen, up a, uh, and with some blood on her face. This could be Laura, from the novel, and in the new miniseries, as in both cases, she is killed by it. So this is when she is killed by it as well, and she seems to be under some bleachers. And what happens at the end of the trailer? The sadistic Pennywise looming from the darkness, murmuring a, a very creepy, hello, and the fa and it fades to black, ending the trailer with a sadistic laugh from Pennywise. Now let's see. Now remember when I told you about the ribbon in Mike Hanlon's head uh, hand earlier? This somehow could could be tied to Laura, as probably Mike Hanlon arrives on the scene soon after Mar Laura's murder by Pennywise, and while carrying the ribbon, experiences Pennywise for himself. Just uh, we don't know in what form yet. However, there's another scene that's actually quite scary. A scene where Be where where Beverly comes out from a vault of blood. Now this movie is probably it wants to be the most goriest movie ever, be uh, bloodiest movie ever made. So I'll go count on that. Now appear it appears that she's in some kind of bathroom. So this also could be a reference to part one when she was bullied by a whole bunch of girls for some idiotic reason. So what do you guys think of what I said about this trailer? Is it true about these things in this trailer? We're probably going to have to wait until Trailer 2 to come out to actually consider these facts. As the movie says, witness the end of it, as in Part 2. And also, Henry Bowers will return in this movie. Henry Bowers was a bully who, bully who bullied very badly the kids in the first movie. However, everyone thought he died in the first movie after falling down a well. But in fact, he somehow survived, and now Cheech Grant will be playing him in this movie, coming back and recruited by Pennywise once again to kill the Lucius Club. This is also a direct re reference to the novel. Now, I wonder, now, I wonder if there's going to be another reference to the novel. It's actually quite... Quite mysterious. In the novel, when uh, when Henry Bowers is picked up in uh, by it in the form of his dead Be Belge Huggins, he realizes that the car that he drives is a 1958 Plymouth Fury. This is a reference to one of Stephen King's other novels, Christine. A novel made about Stephen King, uh, that who also made it. Now this uh, novel had an evil 1958 pl female Plymouth Fury in it, just named Christine as the title character, and she was a sadistic, evil, murderous car. So will Christine appear in it chapter two? I hope she does, because this is going to be a, d a great reference to one of Stephen King's other great novels and a great adaptation to one of the greatest films I've ever seen. We're just going to have to wait if Christine will appear in IT. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. What is going to happen in this movie? And, and, what, and the things I said in this novel are, in this uh, video are true? We're going to have to wait until chapter 2. Uh, uh, rather, we're going to wait until trailer 2 to find out. The movie comes out on September 6th. 2019. So we're just gonna we'll have to wait a couple more months until the movie comes out. But until then, will uh, will the Losers Club finally defeat it, or will they be defeated by the sadistic Pennywise, the dancing clown?